Hi everyone, welcome once again to another tutorial in bioinformatics. In today's video, I am going to show you how you can set up a BWA on your system. BWA is a tool that is used for genome mapping. That's the core usage or the main usage. It can also be used to perform other stuff, but that's the core uh, work it does. So there's a page in case you want to read about it and then look at how you can use it. But our focus today is installation. So hey, let's proceed. So let's go to the GitHub page here. I'll come to this page um, in a minute. I have already made a first tutorial where I showed you how to compile from source. And so for that one, you have to download the source code, compile, and then do some other um, configurations. And that particular approach is useful for both macOS and then Linux users. So we take note of that. So let's proceed. So if you check this GitHub page here, which I'll leave this link in the description box, by the way. If you check this page here, if you check this statement, it says that since this version here, pre-compiled binaries have been made available in BWA kits. And so um, that's what we are going to do today. Today, we are going to look at this approach where we just download a binary file and then we just run it straight away. That is what we mean. With the binaries, everything has been done. It has been compiled. So we just execute it once you have it on your PC. So that's what we are going to do here. So let's visit this link here and then we will have the file that we need so there's a link i will leave this link is also in the description box in case you want to check it out but it's available so let's look at the files here it seems we have pre-compiled binaries for linux okay so i don't really know whether this will work for mac os but for linux it's sure going to work for mac os if you want to set up BWA, you can compile from source code or you can use Anaconda. I've covered both approaches um, in my previous tutorial, so you can just check them out. The links to those videos are in the description box. So let's proceed. So let's first download this particular file here. That is what we are going to use. So uh, you can click it to download, or you can also use the download link. For me, I am going to use the download link because I want to keep things simple. So I'll copy it, I'll copy the link. I'll just right click and copy. And then I'll go to my command line. Perfect, so I am here. So I'll use Wigets to download. So what I'll say is that I'll type Wigets and then I'll supply it with a download link. That's what I'm going to do here. Now with this, when you download, the file is going to come with this name, which may be confusing. So what I want to do is that I also want to do a quick rename after downloading. So I'll add this here, dash O, and I'll say bwa.tar.bz2. That is the extension. If you check here, that is what I'm going to do here. So I'll just execute this link here. So it's now downloading. Okay, but wait a minute. There is a statement here which says, yeah, so this statement basically is a security issue which uh, you can encounter, but it's not a big deal. So it also provides an, a solution for us here that we have to use. So this situation may occur on your, on your system as well, but if it does, don't worry, you resolve it here. So let's proceed. So we have to add this particular option here or argument. So let's clear the screen and just reset our link here again. Um, the command, perfect. So I'll say we get no check certificates. This is it. And then I'll supply it with the link again. And then I'll give my name. So the name that I want, so I say bwa.star.bz2. Perfect, so downloading has now been done. Okay, and let me say that there are other utilities you can also use to download files. So we have Kel and others, so use the one which is appropriate for you. But we get should be um, installed on your Linux pieces and it's also easy to install, so just check it out. 
Now download has been done successfully for us. So let's clear the screen. Let's check that out. Do an LS and you see it's here. Perfect. We are now going to extract the contents. We are going to extract the contents of this particular file here. So we use the tar utility. So tar x then f and then I specify the file like this and then I run it. Perfect. So extraction is being done for us. So we are good to go. Let's check it out. It's done. Do an ls and you see a directory here. So this is what we need. So do an ls to that directory. Perfect. And you will see the BWA binary here. So this is what we need. But you should also look at this one. So there are other files here as well. They all perform different functions. So if you want to keep them, that's fine. But our focus is BWA. So let's proceed. So once you have it this way, you can just run it. So to run it, just say BWA.kit. And then it's done nicely for us. Okay, so let's clear the screen. So with this current situation, with this current setup here, anytime you want to run BW, you have to specify the path to it, like the one we did here. The one we did here. And this approach can be problematic if you are in different directories. So we are going to look at a, a better way of and running BW without having to specify the four parts. So what we want to do at the end of the day is that we want to use this. We want to just type BW and then when we execute, we should get an output. But with our current setup, we are going to have this error and that is what we are going to resolve now. So what we are going to do is that with this particular setup we have, it's impossible to run it this way. So we are going to modify our .bashrc file. Okay, and then we are going to add a path to it and then we can use that to, to run BWA. There are other ways to do that, but we just want to make it permanent. So we are going to do that right away. So first of all, it's also advisable to organize your installations. So First of all, we are going to create a directory called apps. And then we are going to move the BWA kit directory. So let's do an ls. We are going to move this into that directory just to organize and keep them from other files we have. So you see mv v apps bwa.kit. Don't worry, we just keep it this way. So you can move and rename as well, but uh, let's keep it this way so that we don't end up getting confused. So let's move it. Um, let's check. Okay, I think I made an error here. Let me just correct it. With the moving, we need to specify a source and a destination, but what I did was just specify only the destination. So let's just correct the mistake here. So things are fine. So we see mv-v bwa.kit. This is what we are moving. And then we specify the destination, which is apps. Perfect. So now we have our source and we have our destination. So we are good to go. Perfect. So now do an ls in apps and you see a directory here. Now let's just uh, continue. So we are now going to set a path to this particular file here. So that's what we are going. So we need to get a four parts at the moment. So because some of my viewers may be beginners, I will just first CD to it. CD apps, bw.kit, and then I'll get a four parts. So the four parts is pwd. That's what I'll do to get a four parts. So there's the part I need. Is what I need to set up my system. Perfect. So let's clear the screen and then just continue. Okay, perfect. So now I am going to modify my .bashrc file. That's what I'm going to do um, now. So let me just cd. Yeah, let me cd and then just... So when, once you do a cd, you go back to the home directory. So I'll just 
CD as I've done here. Let me just let me make it nicer. So it's not perfect. So now I'm going to modify the .bashrc file and then I'll put the path there and it will be permanent for us. So that is what we are going to do now. And so first of all, I'll just make a backup of the .bashrc file. So I'll say cp.bashrc and then I'll just say bash rc dot back. It's just a backup so that in case anything happens, I can just use that file to restore. So now I'm going to edit the dot bash rc file now and then add a path to BWA. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'll say nano. I am using nano, but you can also use vi. This is also another text editor. So any text editor should be fine for you. So any of them should be fine. But I prefer to use nano, so I'll just use that. So nano.bashrc. The .bashrc is a hidden file. That is why we are using the dots here. Perfect. So I'll just move down and then I'll get it there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a similar command like this here to export the parts. But then I'm also going to include a path to BWA, and that is what we copied. So I'll say exports path equals dollar path. I'm using dollar path because I still want to have access to all those exports I've done, to all the um, paths I have on my system currently. So I include them as well. So it's more like I am adding up. So I'll just add a column and then I'll specify the path to BWA, which is this one here. That is what I'm doing now. So now everything is okay. And by the way, so this particular command here can also be used straight on the terminal. And then you can still run BWA, but um, once you do it that way, whenever you open a new terminal, you have to issue it again. And that is why we are using the .bash IC, because when we use the .bash IC file, once you open the terminal, the command is executed for you automatically. And so you don't have to do that manually. That is why we are doing it this way. So let's get it done. So I will save these changes here. Perfect. So I have saved the changes, but still if I do a BWA, nothing is going to be done. Okay, because we still don't have everything done fully for us so there are two approaches you can use you can open a new terminal and type bwa and that will also be done for you so it's done nicely for us or if you are still in that same terminal here you can just say source dot bash rc but i usually prefer that you open a new terminal Okay, that's what I recommend you do. So open a new terminal and then just test there. The reason why I recommend this one is that if you open a new terminal and there's something wrong, you can still come back to the old terminal which is still opened and then just reverse it. Okay, so if you're a beginner, just use this approach first. Open a new terminal to test and make sure everything is okay. But if you're an advanced user, then you can still use this other approach as well, which works um, for um, some system. So I'll just use this source.bashrc and then that is also done. So once I type BWA, it should be done nicely for us. So this is another way to also do. So these are two approaches you can use to set up the path for BWA. Perfect. So let's clear the screen, do an ls and then continue. So now we can remove the bashrc.bash, this backup file, we can remove it and also remove this one here just to save space because we don't need them anyway we are done so i'll remove them rm-i bash rc dot back yes i'm using dash i so that linus will prompt me to confirm so i'll just type y to remove i'll do the same for the downloaded file here this one here confirm and then just do it this way you should be careful with the rm command because it's a point of no return once you use this command to remove a file 
you can't recover the file again so just be careful and that is why i use a dash i so that i get another level of confirmation and then i can finally remove them so that's it so that's it for this tutorial if you also want to check out how to install bw using anaconda or compile from source code you can just watch these tutorials right here so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next session goodbye